besides being one of the highest paid actresses in Hollywood. Sandra Bullock is a powerful woman who has made a lot of money during her career. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this star lives? In this video you will find out all about Sandra Bullock's luxurious life. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag alaboutsubscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1964 in Arlington, Virginia, Sandra Annette Bullock is a great Hollywood actress. Following in the footsteps of her mother, who was a singer and a singing teacher at operas, little Sandra also participated in these artistic performances. As an adult, Sandra began auditioning for acting, while working as a bartender and waitress to make ends meet. Her first notorious work on television was the 1989 TV series Bionic Showdown. From then on, the artist got other relevant roles in films such as Speed, While You Were Sleeping, The Lost City, Gravity, Bird Box, adding up to more than 50 film productions, not to mention the films in which she also worked as an executive producer. For her impeccable and always critically acclaimed work, Sandra Bullock has won several awards as Best Actress, including an Oscar and a Golden Globe. The beauty has even been named as one of the highest paid actresses in the world, and it is for this extraordinary financial result that Sandra can enjoy a very luxurious life. Malibu Properties Perhaps Sandra Bullock is one of the actresses who owns the most properties spread around the United States. All of them are true mansions that offer a lot of comfort and tranquility to the star, but they also serve as investments. She owns, for example, not only one, but two houses in Malibu, California. Her most recent purchase is a simple but very cozy waterfront residence, which has 1,300 square feet distributed over two bedrooms and two bathrooms. With large windows facing the sea, you can relax while enjoying the breeze and the spectacular ocean view. The actress paid $5,300,000 on this property in 2020, but soon after the purchase, she advertised it for rent, although it is unclear if she currently has a tenant living there. In June 2018, Sandra made her first real estate purchase in the area, with it being 3,700 square feet in size and facing the Pacific Ocean. Originally built in the late 1970s, the stilt house is a picturesque seaside retreat, with floor-to-ceiling windows and several terraces overlooking the beautiful beach sunsets. The house has a large living room connected to the other rooms, such as the open-concept kitchen with two marble-covered islands, and also the dining room. The property has a total of four bedrooms and three bathrooms, with the master suite offering a bathroom with panoramic ocean views. And in order to have this residence always at her disposal for when she may want to take refuge after her intense work routine, Sandra Bullock had paid $8,500,000. Other Properties those who think that Sandra's real estate portfolio stops there are mistaken. Some sources estimate that she has more than 17 properties to her name. Sandra's most recent real estate purchase is located in Beverly Hills, a mid-century bungalow that has been renovated. With 2,800 square feet, the residence has a very eccentric decoration, with colorful and patterned furniture and ornaments that offer a lot of personality to the rooms. An example of this is the library, which has a strong presence of red everywhere. In contrast to these rooms, the kitchen is very neutral and clean-looking, with white cabinets and light countertops. The house has a total of three bedrooms and 3.5 bathrooms, which offer a lot of luxury through their top-of-the-line finishes. Not to mention the organic-shaped outdoor pool, imitating a relaxing natural lagoon. And to have this residence in her real estate portfolio, Sandra had to fork out $2,700,000 in 2021. Back in 2001, Bullock bought a huge 1.6-acre complex on the exclusive Tybee Island, Georgia, which featured a 3,360-square-foot main house and a 2,800-square-foot guest house. It is a very cozy property with access to the sea in the middle of a preserved forest endemic to this region. The living room, for example, stands out for having a double-height ceiling, which gives the room a lot of space. 
The room is also joined together to the dining room with a table for six people, and to the very clean-looking kitchen, which has wooden countertops and state-of-the-art appliances. The estate overall is very clean-looking and is decorated in the boho style, a bohemian and romantic look, with the presence of white furniture and wood and straw coverings, typical of a quiet and relaxing beach resort. The main house has four bedrooms in total, and the master suite, which is located on the second floor, has a very relaxing bathroom. Outside, besides there being a swimming pool in order to enjoy the sunny days, and the relaxing verandas so one can appreciate the sea breeze, it is possible to have access to the sea through a private pier that leads to the beach sand. There is also a gym, a game room, and a large grassy yard with a mini basketball court in the property. Sandra decided to dispose of the two structures separately, selling the guest house for $1,050,000 in December 2020 and the main house for $3,100,000 a month later. The movie star, however, is also known to possess the following properties. A Victorian Gothic mansion built in 1876, located in New Orleans, which was purchased in 2009 for $2,200,000. $40,000. Two apartments located in the famous Sierra Towers building in Hollywood, totaling more than $8 million. In other words, Sandra Bullock definitely likes to invest in real estate. Cars Sandra Bullock is not a person who cares to flaunt her riches like many other artists do. After all, she doesn't even have social media. But that doesn't mean that she doesn't like comfort and luxury. In fact, the actress is always spotted by paparazzi while driving some great cars. One of them is an Audi A6, a formal and sophisticated sedan considered ideal for those who like executive vehicles. Although it is not a revolutionary car, it makes its presence felt, and it is no wonder that it costs around $60,000. The actress owns a GL550 from the Mercedes-Benz luxury brand. It is a spacious seven-seater SUV capable of accelerating like a super sports car, reaching a top speed of up to 155 miles per hour. And in order to have this car that delivers the best of both worlds, comfort and good performance, you have to pay about $90,000. Another vehicle that Sandra has been spotted driving is a Land Rover. It is not known for sure what model this vehicle is, but taking into account the average price of the brand's cars one can say that its value must be around $100,000. But it seems that the star really likes Audi cars, because she has already been spotted riding a R8 model. This stylish sports coupe has a 610 horsepower V10 engine, capable of reaching 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds. And to have a brand new car of this model to call your own, you have to pay about $140,000. Aesthetics Sandra Bullock is part of a select team of Hollywood artists who are beautiful even at their age. In fact, it is almost unbelievable that the actress will be 57 years old in 2022. She even looks as if she has taken some youth elixir to keep her skin intact and her body toned, as if she were still in her 35s. Many people may think that the beauty has an intense skincare routine, but in reality, Sandra has told us that she is very minimalist and takes only 8 minutes a day to take care of her face. However, a beauty secret that the actress has already revealed is that she has used a hemorrhoid ointment on her face for a period of time, which helps with the lines around her eyes. When it comes to aesthetic procedures, she avoids overdoing it with fillers and Botox. Sandra prefers more natural methods, such as stimulating collagen production by microneedling. Her slender body is the result of a lot of effort. Sandra practices many physical activities during the week, such as kickboxing, Pilates, and weight training. She also enjoys cycling and dancing on the weekends. Another thing she takes care of is her diet, always opting for lean proteins in her meals. The beauty is only one day a week when she allows herself to eat sweets and chocolates. In other words, for someone as rich and dedicated as Sandra Bullock, it is easier to get around aging. Personal life Details about Sandra Bullock's personal life always gain great notoriety in the media, especially since she is a big movie star. On the subject of relationships, the artist was once engaged to actor Tate Donovan, with whom she starred in Love Potion No. 9, but the relationship ended after three years. Sandra has also dated soccer player Troy Aikman and actors Matthew McConaughey and Ryan Gosling, who is 16 years younger than her. In 2005, the star married businessman, car mechanic, and presenter Jesse James. The relationship seemed very well, until in 2010 statements began to emerge from several women who reported cheating by Sandra's husband. Even with a public apology, the divorce was signed. 
After that, Sandra decided to become a single mother, adopting two children, Louis Bardo and little Layla. Since 2015, the actress has been in a relationship with photographer Brian Randall, who seems to be a great stepfather to Sandra's children. Another interesting fact about Sandra's personal life is that she has suffered several episodes of harassment from obsessed fans, with one of them even breaking into her home in 2014. Net Worth Sandra Bullock is a prominent actress who has gained great wealth from her various works in the theaters. Unlike other Hollywood performers who have numerous sources of income, including work in television, sitcoms, advertising campaigns, and social media, Sandra is content to focus solely on her acting in the film industry. The luxury of choosing or turning down other jobs is definitely not something everyone has. The film that launched her career was 1994 Speed, which grossed $350 million at the box office. Office. Because it was her first major success, the star was paid a salary of $500,000, the equivalent of $900,000 today after adjusting for inflation. Playing other prominent roles, the actress has already made $8 million for 1990 SIXSA Time to Kill, $10 million for her voice acting in the animated film Minions. $10,500,000 to reprise her role in Speed 2, Cruise Control, $15 million for Murder by Numbers, $17,500,000 for Miss Congeniality 2, $20 million for The Blind Side. But it was in 2014 that Sandra earned an astronomical salary in Gravity. After all, it is her highest grossing film to date, raking in $700 million worldwide. Added to that her recent Oscar win as Best Actress secured Sandra a $20 million deal plus 15% of Gravity's box office gross receipts, as well as merchandise, TV deals and DVD sales from the film. To give you an idea of values, to date, Sandra has earned over $70 million from this production, enough to be one of the largest paychecks for a single acting role in Hollywood history. Not to mention the secret, million-dollar deal the actress made with streaming platform Netflix, including all of Sandra Bullock's million-dollar caches, her net equity, after deducting taxes, is estimated at $250 million. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.